previous topic we have discussed a brief about the sexual reproduction in organisms now in this video we are going to discuss about the events which takes place in the sexual reproduction so these are sequential events which takes place one after another so first step is pre fertilization events as its name indicates this event takes place before fertilization and that's why it is named as pre fertilization event now pre fertilization event consists of two parts first is gametogenesis and next is gamete transfer so here we will discuss about the gametogenesis if we divide the term into two parts it forms two things gamete and genesis it means formation of gametes now how these gametes are formed so gametes are generally haploid it means they consist of one single set of chromosome or whether a body is a haploid body or a diploid body the gametes will always be haploid the haploid body consists of algae fungi etc whereas the diploid plant body consists of pteridophyte gymnosperm angiosperms mammals etc but how diploid body get transformed into haploid body so how it happens that in plants the diploid plant body consists of specialized cells called meiocytes which undergo meiosis to form haploid cells similarly in case of humans the diploid cells they undergo meiosis to form the gametes which are sex cells that is male gamete and female gamete so this is how the gametogenesis takes place now these gametes can be similar it means they are known as homogametes as we have already discussed this can be seen in algae and fungi and the gametes can also be heterogametes means which are of different sizes this can be seen in humans like us the ova means the egg is larger in size as compared to the sperm so this was all about the formation of gametes the next part is gamete transfer so if gametes are formed now how will they come in contact with each other so that they get fused and get into the process of fertilization so in most of the organism male gamete is motile and female gamete is non motile so the male gamete will move towards the female gamete as they get fused for example in humans in some algae and fungi both gametes are motile but what in the case of those organisms in which gametes are non motile how they will come in contact with each other so that they undergo fertilization so let me explain this in the case of the plants the flower is the reproductive organ of the plant it consists of male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ male reproductive organ is known as stamen whereas the female reproductive organ is known as pistil and the stamen consists of anther and filament i know you know it before the anther consists of pollen grains and pollen grains consists of male gametophyte whereas in the pistil the ovary consists of ovule and the ovule consists of the female gametophyte means egg so there will be the transfer of the pollen grain from the anther to the stigma and this transfer is known as pollination pollination is the process of transfer of the pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flower now this transfer can be within the same flower or in the different flower if this transfer is in the different flower of the same plant it is known as cross pollination but how does transfer takes place means how the pollen grains will reach the stigma this can be reached by the help of the different pollinating agents like insects wind air etc let us understand with the help of an example of a butterfly a butterfly sits on the anther of the flower and the pollen grains get sticks to its body so when the same butterfly land on the stigma this pollen grains will also land on the stigma the story doesn't end here now what happens as soon as the pollen grains land on the stigma a long pollen tube is formed inside the pistil and this pollen tube will run from the stigma and goes to the style and finally reaches the ovary where the female gametophyte is present now this is how the transfer of the gametes takes place in the case of those gametes which are non motile so 
Here we came at the end of this video. In this video, we have learned about the pre-fertilization events. In future video, we will discuss how fertilization takes place. Till then, keep watching Futurex.